Hi, Y family. I'm Kelsey Robinson. I teach work fitness and also teach uh, silver and fit for 65 and older, but this can be done for everybody. This is a low impact workout that you can do at home. Um, uh, things I suggest for you, uh, remember to stay hydrated, remember to keep your core in, but also remember to have fun. Equipment that you might need is water and you have weights. If you have weights at home, uh, you could use water bottles, you can use uh, jugs of water if you want to, depending on how intense you want to make this workout. We will not be doing bands today, so most people at home, you might not have bands, so good for you. <laughs> You don't need them. So, and also we're gonna do plates. And what I'm gonna explain that further, but we're gonna do some balance as well uh, to get rid of that band portion of the workout. We're gonna do some resistance with moving with our plates, sliding. Um, but have fun and we're gonna have a good time. Uh, I will talk you through it. Don't worry about it and just breathe. All right, let's do this. Roll those shoulders in a march, you know, every now and then, bring it forward. Like to do something from us, nice, easy. Two on each side, two, okay, just one leg. two other side, two. You see, we never, two. ever. Roll those arms back, back. Nice. Now bring it back forward. We always do it. Yes. Right. Feel that music. I'm going to take the beginning of this song. All right. Take their right leg. Five, four. And then we're going to do the finish. Four.
might have them grab them. All right. Let's take one now.
to the other side. Circle it out. Woo! Love it. Yes. All right. We're going to bring that toe out and in. Woo! Three, two, and one. Take it out. Bring it down. Hold that knee.
legs out. Hold the bottom of your chair and press those toes down. Ooh, you should feel that. Yes. Hey, we can still have fun no matter where we are. And I'm with you today, all right? Bring that toe up, circle them out. Just walking down the street singing.
stretching squats. All right, we're going into a twist. Keep your head forward and your waist side to side. Let's go. some water with it too. Always hydrate, all right? Take care of your bodies, all right? All right, we're gonna bring that towel, pull on that towel as tight as it goes, bring it up and hold it. They should be doing it with you. Woo! 
out. In and out. Let's pray. Father God, I know that you are good and I thank you that you remain good and that you've proven over and over through the Bible, Lord Jesus, that your good words hold true, Lord Jesus. Now we can, we can put our faith in you, God, that you did not give us a spirit of fear, but a power and love and a sound mind, God. We claim that over our lives, whether enemy comes to steal, kill, and destroy, you, bring, you came to bring life and life abundantly, Lord Jesus, that you did not create the world to be this way, whether it be sin or death or worry or fear. You didn't create that, God. You created it to be good. That each and every time that you created creation, each day that you ended it with saying, it is good. Lord Jesus, there is still good. There is still your good in this world. God, help us to not take life for granted, Lord Jesus. Whether it be that we are, whatever circumstance that we're in, Lord Jesus, that we know that through all this world there will be trouble. But if we take heart in you, you have overcome the world. God, I don't know what power that reigns over this, these households, Lord Jesus, but I pray that your Holy Spirit uh, speaks life into them. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Guys, I give you these kind words because God is still good. Where the world is trying to say otherwise, that your God is bigger than this. All right? And that it says that an anxious heart weighs down a person, but a kind word lifts a person up. And I hope you hold that true. And I pray you reach out to people, be intentional to each and every one that comes across your path, Lord, that the Lord needs to breathe life through you and that you can still be used during this time of isolation, that we are in this together no matter where you're at. So text somebody, call somebody. If you're feeling lonely, make sure you're reaching out to people because we are not meant to live life in isolation. We're not meant to live life alone, but we're in this together. And I love you guys, and you are so fearfully and wonderfully made because you were created in the image of God. And then remember that we can give our requests to God, our fears, our anxieties, whatever it is, and he loves us, and he cares for us, and he wants to do good in your life today. But remember to be intentional with your relationships, but stay in the word, what the word says about life. Don't, there is a lot of people out there that wants to keep you in fear, but you remember that God has already overcome the world, all right? I love you, God bless you, and peace be with you. Bye, guys.